Hello Galactic Family. Dear friend, I am Jeshua and greet you as an equal, as a friend who shares your ideas. Accept me as a brother. I want to be with you to hold your hands. It is easier for me to see life from a higher and wider perspective than it is for you on the earthly level. The intention of your life on earth dictates that you be partially immersed in ignorance, in the weight of your earthly environment, and have this experience from it. This is certainly not easy, but it has a purpose. When one is in the higher realms, in the celestial spheres, as they are called, there is almost no resistance. You accept the experience of love around you as something natural. And attract to yourself what suits you best in terms of environment and also in terms of soul energy you find. There is an easy exchange between you and your environment, which is a reflection of yourself, and so you are relatively free of blockages. There is still some cleansing to be made, so to speak, but everything happens with fluidity and ease, something that you may miss a lot while you are here on earth. Here lacks this lightness and ease, and you are not always surrounded by people who share your way of thinking. You meet many levels of awareness in your life. It is even born as a vulnerable child within a family whose energy often does not reflect its superior essence or match its natural energy. In the energy of a family there are usually limiting fears and beliefs. And you have no choice but to absorb them like a sponge because, as a child on earth, you are not totally in touch with your soul and with the knowledge you possess on the soul level. As a child, you are totally immersed in matter, in a body, in order to acquire earthly experience. And this means that it will absorb unfiltered and unrestricted energies, which do not really belong to it. Only later will you begin to discern what really belongs to you. Now ask yourself, and this is something you must constantly ask yourself, why did I enter this dance, dance with illusion, dance with seduction, dance with darkness? Because the darkness wants to be transformed through him. You are an angel of light. You wanted to take on this dance with matter and uncertainty because there is so much love in you. There is within you a very deep, creative and inspired source. And this is who you are. This is your soul. And in every soul, this creative source, this incessant flow of life, develops its own unique brightness. You are your own being, single, no one else is like you. And it is here to shape, in its own way the love in its being, and to face the darkness within itself and to transform it. In fact, darkness is equal to the unknown, the new, the adventure. And if you are afraid of it, you will feel lost and insecure. Most of the time, a person becomes so overwhelmed by the new, by the unknown, by the darkness that he begins to doubt himself I cannot do this. I do not know who I am or where I am. I got lost. So she needs self-consciousness to complete her journey, to fulfill it with joy. And that is why I am here to remind you of yourself and the consciousness that wishes to be born in you. You are a creator, an extremely powerful creator, who is here to embrace the darkness and transform it. First do you think you will not be able to do this? that you will be swallowed up by darkness, by ignorance and you will be lost. But there comes a time when he realizes who is looking at the darkness, who is this powerful source, this being who constantly returns to dance with illusion and ignorance. And then your gaze stops turning outward and begins to look inward, discovering who you are. You are involved in this process has been on this journey for a long time and has already discovered the light in himself. But there are always times when you get in doubt and look back out again, finding those negative energies that are vibrating there, and that are based on fear. These energies instill fear in you and that experience takes you away from yourself. 
I am here to help you turn your look back into yourself, to the source of love and knowledge that you are. Sometimes I get frustrated to see you consider me a teacher above you. However, it is my intention to keep your focus on the fact that we are equal, that you bring within yourself the same source of knowledge that I bring, and that you do not have to feel inferior to me, for this is not the intention. This is an illusion. I am here to overthrow this illusion and I ask you to cooperate with me in this, because I need you. I was representative of a new consciousness on earth, but I could plant only a few seeds. The possibilities were limited, at that time, however at this time the possibilities are much greater. Imagine that you are one of those seeds, but a seed that now wants to germinate, which is ready to germinate. Imagine that you see yourself on a bed of fertile soil. You see the seed on earth and feel the potential of life in that seed. The sun is shining in the moist and fertile soil, and you then imagine how that seed grows roots and shoots. Feel the roots penetrate the soil and see how tiny green leaves begin to appear along your stem. Enjoy the beauty of this plant and feel that it grows because of the attention you give it with your delight and admiration. Feel the earth and how it welcomes this plant. Notice how the plant grows stronger and stronger until it sets firmly on the earth soil and its leaves are large and capable of absorbing sunlight. Slowly this tiny plant turns into a magnificent tree. Feel how this tree is connected with heaven and earth. Realize your root system and how these roots absorb the nutrients effortlessly. It is a natural process so it is not difficult for you to perceive it. The trunk is solid and strong, and the foliage is abundant and green. The sun is shining in the canopy of the tree and it absorbs the light, the light of the home. See if you can keep this picture and imagine that you, the way you are now, in your body, sits under that tree and reclines on your trunk. Bring the energy of the tree into itself. Feel the energies of the earth and of heaven go around your back and feel like you are welcome here. You are needed here on earth as an energy transformer, but the work you do is mostly internal. And when I say you're needed, I do not mean that you have to do many things. You may feel inspired to do certain things, but your work has more to do with maintaining the image of that tree. You are here thanks to the awareness of the strength and inspiration that flowed into you, and this is what contributes to the larger set. Whenever you believe in yourself and trust in your own strength and creativity, you change the collective consciousness of a humanity immersed in fear and victimization. There were people on earth who came to power and made their subordinates doubt their own abilities. They systematically took away the power of the people. And this is also a legacy that you need to deal with. Even in a modern, free society, this legacy still exists. It is an inheritance of fear, repression and lack of confidence in oneself. Do not underestimate the power of this legacy. It is a great step to turn to yourself, believing in yourself and your unique power. This is a huge step in consciousness, a 180 degree turnaround. That's why what you're trying to do is so grand and awesome. Because this is your challenge, it is what you came to accomplish here. Nothing else captivates him. You want to take this step toward yourself, the germination of your true power here on earth, after so many centuries, after spending so many lives here. The final step is when you recognize that the fear that lives in you is an illusion. There are already times when you feel it. When you have a glimpse of your true potential, your integrity, your divinity. But then you become dazzled again by fear, by the doubt that covers earth like a blanket. This shadow certainly is not something that happens only on the individual level. It is a collective blanket that suffocates all people, 
and the more you try to overcome it and free yourself from that old heritage, the more strongly it holds you. The collective pressure around them is to remain trapped and not to break because the tendency of human beings to want to adjust is to want to belong to a group. But what you truly want is to escape from it. To free themselves from this pressure of old weights, such as the concept of sin, self-annulment, and submission. You can imagine this old energy as a heavy grey color, a sticky mud that captures it binds it and holds it back. I begged you not to fight against it, otherwise you will be even more deeply imprisoned and possibly even paralyzed by the actions of this mud, of those old energies. In this sense, the fear wants you to fight against it, so that the dominion that it has over you will become stronger. If you consider fear a terrible opponent, you will lose. Because by seeing fear as a real enemy, you are giving yourself to it and therefore already lost. Fear, in its essence, is an illusion that can be pierced like a balloon and emptied. It is not an enemy in the sense of a real adversary, but an idea that has power over you. It is not a thing, it is not a being. If you understand the vulnerability that exists in you since you are a newborn baby, and begin to see this vulnerability in others, then you can forgive yourself for the power that fear has over you. If you take a stand for forgiveness and understanding, fear will no longer have any power over you. Then you will become a giver, the source of love. You will become great rather than small. When you are big, fear has no more power over you, and then you begin to see it as a cry for help first in himself, then in others as well. And this is the right view. Fear is a cry for help. Fear is a necessity, and you are the one who can help make that need disappear, because it can fill the void. Fear can be transmuted by love. This is what you are and what you can do. I begged you to believe this. But I will understand it, even when I lose this perspective again. That is why I am always present. And with me there are many who are also involved in this great process, their guides, their angels. They want to help you in what you are doing. There is a lot of help available. Feel this help here and now, and open up to it. The intention is that you use our energy, so do not be afraid to ask for our help. We love doing this. We are really strongly connected with you. Thank you for your attention.